Greetings, this is Michelle Strickland. I will be reading today's lesson from the Quran. It'll be chapter 5, The Punishment Due to Evil Deeds. It'll be section 5, verses 38 through 45. Surely Allah is the knower of the unseen in the heavens and the earth. Surely he is knower of what is in the hearts. He it is who made you successors in the earth. So whoever disbelieves, his disbelief is against himself. And their disbelief increases the disbelievers with their Lord in naught but hatred. And their disbelief increases the disbelievers in naught but loss. Say, have you seen your associates which you call upon besides the law? Show me what they have created of this earth. Or have they any share in the heavens? Or have we given them a book so that they follow a clear argument thereof? Nay, the wrongdoers hold out promises one to another only to deceive. Surely Allah upholds the heavens and the earth, lest they come to naught. And if they come to naught, none can uphold them after him. Surely he is ever forbearing, forgiving. And they swore by Allah their strongest oaths that if a warner came to them, they would be better guided than any of the nations. But when a warner came to them, it increased them in naught but aversion. Behaving proudly in the land and planning evil, and the evil plan besets none save the authors of it. So they wait for naught, but the way of the ancients. But thou wilt find no alteration in the course of law, and thou wilt find no change in the course of law. Have they not traveled in the land and seen what was the end of th those before them? And they were stronger than those in power. And a law is not such that anything in the heavens or the earth can escape him. Surely he is ever knowing powerful. And were a law to punish men for what they earn, he would not leave on the back of it any creature. But he respites them till an appointed term. So when their doom comes, then surely a law is ever seer of his servants. You know, if, you, if you're doing things that you know aren't the right thing to do, people, you know, it's time to switch up. You know, he's trying to warn us. It's it's time to switch up. We can't continue, you know, to to uh, create all kinds of problems, you know, for people, even for ourselves. You know, he gives us ample time to make corrections. You know, don't wait till the last minute to try to, to try to be better because it could be late, too late for you. I just ask that you find him wherever you are. I want to remind you, this Sunday, my first uh, lesson, uh, my first public service announcement, lesson one, I will, will release it. And it is called Stop Adult Bullying. I haven't determined the time yet, but as I mentioned, I will start that series on Sunday. It doesn't last long, maybe a couple of minutes or two, but it's a lesson. It's a uh, that, that that deals with adult bullying. I hope that you will take the opportunity to listen to it once it's released. I want you to have a good day wherever you are. And remember, smile this day anyway. One person at a time. One person at a time.